as y'all know, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. And you know, Thanksgiving is all about what are you thankful for? Like, what are you grateful for? Making sure you give voice to those things. And I just haven't lately. Editing Sonali here to say. Um, <laughs> when I pray to God, sometimes I only focus on the big things when I also have to focus on small victories, like having two legs, having a voice being alive <laughs> you know just while you're asking and praying for certain things also ask and pray that you will be alive tomorrow you know what i mean so that's kind of where i'm at um i remember editing this video like before before i'm editing it now i edited it before <laughs> so it's already done it's just got to be posted i just remember being like because to preface when i film this video i'm a completely different person than i was like right now than i was because this whole this this right here mess me up this entire month like my perspective on how I go about my life from now on has changed even in this last week like it has changed it's not an excuse but I'm a member of the Gen Z so I don't watch the news I just don't it's not on my TV we barely got cable so um so I'm not I'm not getting this information so I was so ignorant for so long about this top issue it frustrates me over this past week, I was like, uh, I can't post this without having this conversation because I sound very ungrateful. Or not that I sound ungrateful because the whole video is about me trying to find that gratefulness, that thankfulness. Again, it's just the fact that I was able to have the privilege to be able to be like, oh yeah, I'm ungrateful at that. And I feel like my routine is always the same or I feel like I, my life is stagnant. Like the privilege I have to even say that right now from what I know about what's happening in the world, it could be worse. And I'm so sorry to be insensitive to myself, to my feelings, but it could be worse. Like, I'll get over it. Like, seriously. Like, I'm so sorry. I just, I refuse right now. Maybe because I'm just my thoughts right now, but I just refuse right now in this moment to ever, ever sweep things like being alive and having two feet, having two legs, having two arms, having two eyes. Like, I refuse to have, to sweep that under the rug. That's the life I get to live. <laughs> you know, that's the privilege I get to have. And I cannot, like I said, upload this video without acknowledging that because I have to check my privilege. As me, a black American, tells my white friends to check theirs, I have to check mine as an American citizen. So, just life, man. No matter how much it keeps me up at night, because y'all, I cry basically every single day. I cry every single day. And that is not me wanting pity from you. No, I should be crying. I should feel for those children in Palestine. I should feel for those people in Sudan. Like, I should feel that. Every day I'm reminded that my life could be so much worse. I just need to use the voice that I'm grateful for that God gave me to spread awareness of what's going on. Making sure that I'm grateful for the small things in life and doing things that I love. Um, because there are some people that can't. Um, so, yeah. Sorry to get all deep on the first video back, but I had to. First order of business, though. This ramen, I had it for the first time Saturday. It was probably one of the best ramens I think I've ever made. I make a lot of ramen. This is really good. This is one of my comfort meals that make me just so happy. So, we're gonna make this. I chopped up some onions. Oh, I'm gonna just put these in the microwave. Some people like to just do it on the stove, but if I do it on the stove, I'll cook it too much and I don't need it. I kind of need it to cook halfway. So, I got my pot, my olive oil, and my sesame oil.
but usually it's supposed to usually it's supposed to sit on top of the noodles and just kind of fry it up there but hopefully in like five minutes it'll fry with it enjoy the silence not the silence because i don't live alone i also think that's another thing like i think i'm very blessed to be able to get housing through, through the school or i've come to a point in my life where i really do enjoy or need that time alone and i'm not granted that here and it kills me <laughs> like last year when i lived in towers which is another dorm on campus. I lived alone, like, I had a suite mate, but I had my own room to go to. The room is clearly made for one person, so we are just on top of each other. And it's, so next year, I'm gonna have my own place, or my own room at least. I think I'll be a lot more, I'll have a lot more of a clear mind, because I'll be able to have the time to clear it. <laughs> Here's how my egg came out. It cooked. Oh, wow. Yeah, it like came out all wonky. Okay, so I'm currently walking. I'm about to, hopefully, I, I forgot to put my mic on. That's supposed to stop the wind from making a lot of noise, so hopefully you guys hear me well. But I'm about to go to Trader Joe's to pick up some of this stuff that I was talking about. For my dinner, if I eat dinner today, I don't know. We might just do it, but we'll see if I even feel like it. Cause low key, I wanna just go home and see how quickly that happens. Like see how quickly like I get tired of things. Like I just wanna go home and just sleep. Um, part of this burnout and tiredness is definitely because it is the beginning of the month and that's usually when my cycle begins. Oh, not the freaking circulator popping up now. Why are you eight minutes early, dog? I'm just tired all the time and I understand why but like I'm extra tired because I'm it's every year every single year November I always get really super tired because just I'm done I'm done love yours love yours <laughs> cereal <laughs> like I said I went grocery shopping I've been trying to get more like cinematic type shots for my videos <laughs> so like I said I'm making smoked smothered salmon um, it's like one piece it's pretty big like, this could last me some time I don't eat that much meat y'all so I think if I just cut it up into nuggets I can make something shake with that but I got some spinach Sangria tomatoes, which I've never tried. Usually I do cherry, but the cherries were more expensive than the sangria. Like, I think this was like three, and the cherries were like four. And less, too. It came with less. I got some heavy whipping cream. 
I got some chicken. I mean, I got some Parmesan. Parmesan. Parmigiano Reggiano. I got my matcha. I love my matcha, y'all. And then I also got spicy chai. I just cried for an hour. Nah, I had to buy my tickets to go. First of all, it's my fault. I should have been bought these tickets to go to New York. Because one is New York, two is Thanksgiving. So, where did life go? Um, where did time go? Where did my money go? <laughs> and they were probably always expensive, but you didn't have to think about it because you were not paying it. And no one talks about that. When you're home, you really get to just shut your brain off. You know that TikTok where it's like, or just like, People that say, I want a man that when I'm with them, I don't have to use my brain. You want someone to take care of you like your parents did. And, that, and that's what it's given. Because, yeah, I don't want to use my brain. Like, I've been using my brain too much. Yeah, adulting is really hard. It's really draining. And that's why we're so tired. And they call us the lazy generation and why it might be true because of COVID and things like that. Why it may be true. I may be lazy, but God knows I'm trying. But I'm about to go cook. We're gonna get it together. This time next year, you won't even have to worry about me. Like, I'm struggling now because God knows, and I know I'm not struggling in the future. But when it comes to life, like, I'll just be good. Obviously, that's not how life works, but in my head, it does. like mush but I promise it's not it's gonna be so good I've, I've been trying this <laughs> I did over rice because I just didn't have potato and also rice is just smooth. Very easy to make too. Literally takes three steps. The night is definitely coming to a close. I just took a shower. That was my day. That was my day in the life. I'm about to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys could relate to this. I forgot how to film an outro because I haven't been on YouTube in decades. But I will see you guys in the next video. 